What's up, you guys? Welcome back to PC Gamer Girl. This is Free Game Friday, and we are playing But I Love You. I looked at this game. It's on Itch.io, and uh, it looks... It sounded really interesting, so I really wanted to play it. So we're going to do that today. Uh, let's keep driving. Lost control of the car and died. Well, <laughs> already I'm dead. Pick the other choice, loser. Fine, I will. Now, I should say that this is just the demo of the game. Um, because the full game isn't out yet. Let's go to the nearest exit. There's an exit up ahead. I'd better take it and try to find somewhere to stay for the night. It's probably a good idea. The road, tr the road that the ramp leads onto is empty and dark. There aren't even any street lamps, and this is a dirt road. Am I in the country? Aw, oh, crap. The clunker's giving out. I think I see a gate over there. I'll coast into it and see if I can find some help. Pro tip. Don't go on a road trip if your car is a junk heap. Is this a graveyard? Sure looks like it. For some reason, I... I feel like I really need to look around. Of course you do. Yeah, I gotta get out. First, let's see if the car starts back up. Of course, let's go see what's here. This isn't as creepy as I thought a graveyard would be. It just feels empty. Maybe even lonely. So, the full version of the game is supposed to have voice acting and that kind of stuff. I have no idea when the game is supposed to be coming out. You can check the link down in the description if you want to uh, read more about the game, though. Wait, is, is there someone over there? It is. It's a girl. A woman. What is she doing? Who's there? Oh, uh, hey. I'm sorry. I should have called out to you, but, um, my car broke down. Can you help me? Why? What? Oh my god, she's adorable. She got them crazy eyes going, though, homie. Is she studying me? Pro Dude, you're in a graveyard. I wish I could help you with your car, but I don't know much about any anything about automotives. Me neither, unfortunately. Do you know if there's a hotel or anything nearby? It's pretty late. I can call for help in the morning. Now that I can help with. I'd like to book a room for at least tonight. I run the closest thing to a hotel for miles around at the Kirisburg Bed and Breakfast. That's fantastic. How much do you charge? I'd like to book a room for at least tonight. You said that already. Oh, don't you worry about money. You can stay in my guest room for as long as you must. Whoa, uh, wow, thank you so much. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. Don't fret over that. I'm sure your company will be more than worth it. What's your name, if you don't mind me asking? My name's XXX. I guess she doesn't have a name yet. And what's yours? I'm Emma. Thank you for asking. Oh, I guess he doesn't have a name yet. That's right, you're supposed to be able to, like, eventually when the game's released, you're supposed to be able to pick your gender and, uh, you know, do customize stuff like that. We should go now. You're looking dead tired. Ooh, foreshadowing. Good idea. Thanks again. Not at all. Let's go. On our way out of the cemetery, I noticed a wooden sign in the moonlight. Welcome to Karisburg. It looked, as, it looked as though some sort of large animal had used it as a scratching post. The letters were worn and barely legible beneath all the claw marks. Probably a bear. Carisburg, huh? Oh, right. My car broke down last night and now I'm here. Did you forget already? Is that a piano coming from downstairs? Sure enough, the hostess is the perpetrator. What should I say? So talented, or you woke me. Let's go with so talented. Kind, pretty, and talented? You're a triple threat. Uh-oh. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. But thank you. No problem, it's true. What was that song? Oh, that? It was just something I wrote a long while ago. Why is she dressed like a... Well, uh, you know, 
Japanese um, anime. I guess that makes sense. I don't have a name for it or anything, but I'm glad you liked it. I'll play it every day for you. Oh, seeing you reminds me. I have some tidying up to do around here since I haven't had a guest in so long and the weather's so lovely today. Why don't you go explore while I clean up here? Okay. Good idea. I'll see you later then. I hope you find someone who will be more more able to help with your car than me. Wow, she's right. It's really nice out here. But huh, this is weird. There doesn't seem to be anyone in plain sight. It's actually really empty. I've got to find someone who can help with my car situation. Where should I go? Um, to the garden on the hill, to the playground, to the mall, or to the farmer's market. Um, I'm going to say let's go to the farmer's market because that seems the most likely to have someone that we could find help at. You know, them farmers love to fix their tractors. Well, if I can't find someone who can help me, at least I can get a snack. What? Wow, this is nifty. I haven't seen this many vegetables in one place since I visited Grandma Mart. No, no, that's rude. Everything here is so organized. Oops. Oof. Oh, great. Apples everywhere. I hope whoever put this together isn't. No! <laughs> Another person. Oh, she's not happy. Sorry. No, I just got everything the way I like it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Here, let me help you pick those up. It's okay, don't worry about it. I like them put back a certain way. Thank you, though. Did you organize all of this? It looks really nice. Thanks. It's a labor of love, that's for sure. She looks so sad. Oh, Don't worry, we'll help you pick your apples up. It definitely doesn't seem easy, but, um, hey, do you... Vivian, by the way, and you're XXX, right? Wait, how... Emma came by before and mentioned you. Oh. It's a small town. That'll happen. If by small town you mean empty. Haha. <laughs> True, there aren't many people here in Carisburg. Not to be nosy or anything, but do you know why that is? I've been looking for someone who can help me, and there's literally not even people, on, people to count on two hands. Honestly, I have no clue. It's a nice enough place, though no one really finds it on purpose. And usually, even if they're just passing through, they just decide to say, I wonder why that is. You might end up staying here, too. Ooh, creepy. I've never really questioned it before. It seems almost natural that there's only a few of us. I mean, it's definitely not a big town, and it has some, some history, but I... But when I came here, I... Ah, uh, ow. What's wrong? nothing, just a headache. What was I blabbering about? Oh, right. No one around here is going to be of much help, I think. You can ask around, but as far as I know, none of us are mechanics. Oh, fantastic. Thanks anyway. In thought, I leaned against the nearest object, the basket of apples from earlier, only to knock it over again. Dude, stop making a mess of shit. Let me guess. Car trouble? I, yeah, actually. How did you... I saw your car in the cemetery on my morning jog. It's funny, that's actually how I ended up here, too. Really? That's a funny coincidence. Not really, the roads around here are terrible. My tires were torn up, is that what happened to you? No, I think it's engine trouble. I don't really know for sure, though. I'm awful with cars. So back to that, can you help me out? Unfortunately, I can't. I'm pretty bad with cars, too. Sorry about that. I think somebody else is talking, they just haven't changed yet. That's fine. Vivian, by the way, and you're XXX, right? Oh, it's repeating. Wait, how? Yeah. Emma came by and mentioned you. Oh. Okay. It's a small town. That'll happen. That's weird. The demo must be different. <laughs> uh, I guess that's why it's a demo. Aren't many people in Carisburg? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we got that. Never really questioned it before. Definitely not a big town. Headache. Again? Really? <laughs> Please try to be more careful. I'm so sorry. I can help if you just... I don't know. Uh, tell me how you'd like them put back. It's fine. It's fine. No offense to you, but I have a policy of doing things myself if I want them done right. Oh, um, no offense taken, I guess. I'm 
sorry, I know it sounds hard. I'm just really particular about this place. It's like my personal project. Keeping this place nice and satisfying for me. Like I said, nothing personal, kid. Oh, okay. I can understand that. While I'm in town, though, feel free to ask me for help anytime. It seems like a pretty big job for just one person. Stacking apples? Come on, people do it at the grocery store every freaking day. Maybe, but it's definitely something I enjoy. It keeps me sane. I don't know, you got them crazy eyes, too. Well, if you need help anytime soon, I'm at Emma's place for the time being. I'll keep you in mind, don't worry. Get going. See you around, maybe. Where should I go? Uh... The garden on the hill. Why not? There's a little house up there and someone's obviously keeping up with the plants. Huh. Okay, the house is actually more of a shed with windows and I still don't see anyone. Hello? Anyone here? Was that paper? I think it came from behind the tree over there. Uh, hi. Did I scare you? I'm sorry. I was just trying to find someone who could help me. It's fine. Are you drawing? You can draw? What are you drawing? Is that anime? Ooh. <laughs> she does not look happy. I'm, um, sorry about that. I'll just leave now. I've met less than a handful of people and I've already scared one away. I kind of feel bad. Wait. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm Allison. I wish I could help you, but I really don't know how. Hi, Allison. It's okay. I'm sorry if I surprised you. What do you mean? I haven't explained. It's your car, right? It's broke down. I can see everything from here and I noticed there was a car in the cemetery. Is it yours? Uh, yeah. You've certainly got quite the view up here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? You were drawing, right? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I can draw anytime. I don't get to talk to people often, and, well, I'm not used to it, that's all. You don't have any visitors or visit anyone else? There are other people here, right? I don't want to bother anyone, so I don't really try to make friends. And there aren't that many people here anyway, so what are the odds they'll be want to be friends with me in the first place? Okay. Oh, don't think like that, Allison. I don't know much about you, but I'd like to get to know more. And that's kind of what making friends is all about. This is very Children of the Corn. I really... Do you mean that? Of course. Does that mean we're friends? If you want to be, then yeah. Yes, I would love that. But, um, I'm sorry. I have to go now. I'll come see you again. Bye. Where should I try next? Let's go to the playground. Meet some single moms. Oh, the playground's not in the in the demo. Okay, let's go to the mall. This has to be the local hotspot. I'm bound to find someone who can help me there. You've got to be kidding. There's no one? Nobody at all? Hello? Empty. Oh, crap. Get out of the way! Great, just great. Are you okay? I'm okay, I'm okay. Don't get your socks twisted. I'm just wet. Okay, good. Here, let me give you a hand. Thanks. No problem, but seriously, what were you doing? Parkour? Duh. Parkour in a mall? <laughs> what core? Have you never been on the internet? Well, I haven't since I moved here, but that's different. You're obviously from out of town. You know everyone here? By face, yeah. I mean, there's only, like, a population of negative ten. Then maybe you can help me out. I need someone who can take a look at my car. Oh, so that's your bucket of bolts out there. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone like that there that here in town. Ugh, I might have to call. Wait, my phone. No service, right? I could have told you that. Great. There is one place you can go, though, if you've got to make a call. Really? Where? The bookstore. They've got a landline. Oh, thank goodness. Where's the bookstore? Oh, no, you don't. I think you've been pretty rude so far. What? Excuse me? I don't think I understand. You have a pretty girl helping you. You don't even ask her name? You're right. I'm so sorry. I got so caught up in the whole phone thing. Well, it's Leela, and don't forget it. Not that you could. Just look at me. 
I'm precious. Oh god. Leela, I'll remember. But do you know where the bookstore is? No clue. I don't need books. Oh god. But I do know they're not open until tomorrow, so you're out of luck for now. Okay, cool. I can deal with that. Who are you calling? A friend of mine from the city. She's pretty good with this kind of thing. She? Oh, got a lady friend, huh? It's not like that. We just go way back. So, you're up for grabs then, right? Ew. I- wait, what? Ha <laughs> Oh my god, you're adorable. I'm teasing you. Well, you haven't even asked my name yet, so who's rude now? Hey, you're cute and all, but you're not on my level. Bitch! I'll bite, though. What's your name, girl? It's XXX. Don't forget it. Never. But really, be careful. I have no idea what parkour is, but if you're just spinning around on ledges, that's kind of dumb. Maybe you're kind of dumb. It's awesome. No, I mean, won't you get hurt? Maybe, but you can get hurt doing pretty much anything. It's true. You have a point, I guess. Of course I do. Now scurry off. I want to get back to what I was doing. Alright, woman. Where should I go? Uh, we can't go to the playground. Let's go back. Guess I better head back for the day. Oh, it looks dark out. Ah, oh, you're back. Any luck at all? Afraid not. I might be able to call a friend tomorrow to come help me. I see. That's such a shame you couldn't get any help. Emma's creepy. I'm glad for the company, but I don't want to see you distressed. You're free to keep staying here, of course. It wasn't too bad. I met some really interesting people. You could say that. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad it wasn't a complete waste. But I'm sure you're tired. I should leave you be so you can go to bed. I'll stay up. Nah, I can stay up a little longer if it means we can talk some more. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Don't mention it. I'd love to chat with you. We stayed up for hours on end and spoke with each other about many things. I talked about my previous job as an office worker and how I, when I was younger, I'd dream about being a snippy journalist. Something like those fast-talking, old-timey reporters you see on TV. Emma told me about how when she was a young lady, she wanted to become a pianist. But when she inherited her family's bed and breakfast after her father's passing, she knew she, she, knew she would never be able to bear it, leaving it or selling it. Eventually, when the sun was almost coming back up, I wished her a good night. As I headed up the stairs to my room, I heard the old floor creak under Emma's footsteps. By the time I was in bed, there was the melody of the song she had played that morning, Lulling Me to Sleep. We hope you enjoyed the demo for But I Love You. Come play with us in the official release. Alright. Well, that was cute. Uh, really short. Not entirely sure what's supposed to happen. Um... But I guess we will find out, because I'm kind of intrigued. Like, the, the description of the game is really interesting, so I'll put that down below. And I'll see you guys next time.